What am I doing? A cloud time lapse? I've got a drone, remember? <laughs> So what you saw right there was the first footage I've had with a drone where I've properly integrated into the video. Well, it's not really properly integrated now because I've mentioned it and therefore highlighted it, but getting a hang of the drone, pretty cool. The footage is, it's its amazing. You know, it's just a little thing. I, I don't want the footage to take over the video and what I do. I just want it to be sort of complimentary and improve the videos I do. doorstep talk. I had a question in the comments yesterday and I thought it was easier just to answer it in video than explain it in the comments and other people might get benefit out of it. Now you may be wondering why am I holding this camera? Well the question I got asked was basically how do I do my time lapse? It's like how many seconds of an interval you know do I take, do I slow it down, do I speed it up, that kind of thing. And the answer is is that I pretty much just use this camera here. This is a Canon G7X Mark II. It's kind of special for various reasons and one of those reasons is you can set a time-lapse going and it can take a picture you know every one second or two seconds or three, four, five, etc. And what it will do is once it's been sitting for 15 minutes or half an hour or an hour or whatever it is taking a picture once every second or two seconds it will combine them together and the result will be a video and that's what you'll get and so it makes time lapses a complete breeze. The camera I'm talking on here is a Canon 80D and that can do the same thing but this you know this one's got a wide angle lens which isn't good for time lapses you know of clouds and scenery and beaches and things this is better just with the lens it's handy I can put it in my pocket I can put it on a tripod this one's already on a separate tripod so this is why I use this. As for the settings it depends on what I'm shooting. If I'm shooting waves, slow moving clouds, fast moving clouds, people walking past, I will do a photo every one second or two or three, four, five, up to 11 or 12 seconds for each photo being taken. So it'll be, you know, I'll take a photo, 12 seconds later, I'll do another photo. So I use the full range depending on the speed. And, you know, I just discovered that by, you know, I gauge how fast the clouds are moving. It's more of an art than a science, to be honest. And you just have to kind of practice. The other thing I do is just take 10 minutes of ordinary footage and just speed it up or slow it down or whatever. And, and that's it, really. So I hope that's explained it well enough. If not, let me know and I'll do it again. What I'm doing just now is printing thank you letters for one of my products. This is for the Tybina, the titanium carabiner that I do. You know how I do a quote at the end of the video? It's not just videos, I do quotes in the thank you letters as well. Take a look at this. That's right, six quotes in that thank you letter. I think most thank you letters that I do, they're different and they have different quotes. So. I just love quotes. I don't care if anyone else reads them or not. You know, like, I like it, and that's the main thing. So in this video today, there is less talking and more scenic stuff. The reason for that is that I've been doing a lot of work, not a lot, I can show you, working on my machinist's Kickstarter project, which will either be launching tomorrow evening or the day after, basically within the next 48 hours, I hope. It's the afternoon now, I've been out with the drone twice today already, just taking the batteries right down to zero, come back, charge them. I've just finished charging it for a third time, I'm going to go it again because I'm a man obsessed, just completely addicted, but that's okay. This video you'll notice there's a lot of drone footage, I don't probably plan to put that much in in the future, but it's a complete novelty for me, and I'm just kind of loving it, so making the most of it. <laughs> It's 
pretty much 48 hours since I started using this drone. There's one thing that bothers me, and no, it's not the battery life, I've ordered another battery. When I flew it today, because I was more relaxed and comfortable with it, I flew it for 15, 20 minutes in the morning, and it really did feel like 15 or 20 minutes. I got loads done and that kind of thing. But what's interesting about this, and I didn't actually anticipate it, is that when you fly either front into, in fact, let me explain. The camera is on the front, like this. So you're filming, you know, you're always filming that way. You can film down, but let's say you're filming out the front. When you fly into wind, the drone goes like that. And so the camera can see the blades like this. And it's a real pain and it ruins the shot. And in fact, the footage you see is the footage without the blades in it. And you know, at least half my footage, at least, probably 70% sometimes, is me flying either into wind, or the other thing that happens is you're flying sideways like that or like that against the wind, and the camera will see this blade or this blade. It's a bit of a pain. You know, I want to do kind of nice looking shots. I don't want blades in the way. In fact, this is what it looks like with blades in the image. So you can see it's not that nice. What I'm thinking is, maybe I should get like the bigger drone, the DJI Inspire, which is the one where, you know, it's a big beast, where when it takes off, the arms go and the camera is sitting right down low. So I don't believe any blades can get in the, in the view of the camera and the camera is better. But you know what, realistically, I'm just sort of giving you those thoughts. I mean, this is more than good enough right now for me. You know, I'm just getting the hang of it. It's been two days. I'm still like a kid on Christmas morning with it. It's, it's, um, it's, it's an unbelievable thing, it pretty much flies itself and still a little bit surreal when it goes out of my vision, like you take off with it, you're looking at it and you know you've got this thing flying somewhere in the air that you can't see and you're relying on this screen. It's, uh, it's really weird, it gives you a funny feeling sort of in your stomach, you know, kind of like when you look at the, the moon through binoculars and see craters on it. If you've never done that, I highly recommend it. I still get a, a funny feeling in my tummy when I can see the craters on the moon with my eyes. Anyway, that was a bit of a tangent. I thought I would just talk about the drone and my experience of it. I know from the comments there's either a few people who have drones or are getting drones and you know, that bit of information might help you. Right, I have a whole bunch of work to get going with, but before I go, I will leave you with a very, very good quote. It's by Samuel Johnson and he said, men more frequently require to be reminded than informed. <laughs>